Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to more Mario Gives Up 2 Super Mario World Rum Hack. Under Over Repeat. Alright, more original names for levels. And yeah, this has to be some sort of trap. There is clearly a pit awaiting for us. <laughs> it's inevitable, I am so sorry. But yeah, I have to turn the blocks back to normal, and I think the way of doing that is by pressing uh, an on-off switch. That's my theory. I think I actually saw these flipping blocks before in this game, and the way of turning them back to normal is by pressing this on-off switch. And I think I have to get in this pipe, I don't think I have any other option. There you go. Makes more sense. What was this uh, background? Looks familiar to me. Wow, so close. I don't know. I have the idea, the impression that the polo balls are going faster. Or jumping out of the lava more often, if you will. Alright, what's with that face? <laughs> okay, that was fun. So yeah, that's the way of doing it, pressing on and off. And I think I have to continue on and then backtrack somehow. Because the exit, as you could see, is at the beginning of the level. So yeah. <clears throat> there is something below that I'm ignoring. Oh, more of the same? I don't know, I think I missed something, or I could have missed something. So yeah, apparently the area is going to be switching between cave areas with lava and polo balls and crap, and also outside locations. All of this very generic in terms of devil design and backgrounds and all that, with uh, an edited Blark Sprite as well. See? The polos are going a lot faster than usual. Yeah, I cannot even rest for a couple of seconds. I think they give me a power-up after is each uh, pipe. I don't know. Well, this counts like an extra power-up after a pipe. No. I think I lost the shell. Oh yeah, there is one, sorry. Gives me just another mushroom, just in case. Sorry, it was an accident. Yeah, the thing is I have to backtrack all the way to the beginning. Unless there is some pie that takes me to the beginning directly. Like that one down there. Second big coin, it means... No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm a coin whore. But I'm not stupid. Not that stupid, at least. Oh my god! What's next? Only two skulls? Alright, this actually could be a reason for me to take more hits in this area than usual. Not only the, the polo balls being faster, but also the skulls being less and less every try. It makes more sense, kinda. It's difficult to predict. I mean, even if I try to do a spin jump, it's not safe. Look at that! Polo going pretty much to the ceiling itself. Not only... Polo balls are jumping more often, but also there are a shell lot of them. That's an issue. Yeah, it's almost impossible not to take a hit in here. And I'm running out of time. Now, I think this is impossible to backtrack because of those higher areas. This looks completely different than before. Even the music changed. So yeah, I think I need uh, a pie in order to go to the very beginning after pressing all of these things though. Something tells me that I needed to press a block on the other side, I don't know. This again? 
Oh, look at that, it tam the time resets. Yeah, I think you have to go under the pullables. Jumping won't really work, except for that one. Because it's really short. It did jump itself, I mean. No, miscalculated it. Seriously, I get hit every time. Yeah, this looks like a completely different cave area. I thought it was repeating the same cave part as before. Dude, I cannot even tell where the pole balls are. I think in there I need to spin jump. Yeah, there you go. That's why you have to do, otherwise... You're gonna take the hit anyway. Alright, that should be the end of the level, you see? Makes more sense. But yeah, apparently time resets every time you enter a pipe. Yeah, the, the lava areas actually were the complicated ones, the pullables, to be more specific. Remember, I'm not going to try and get the secret as long as it isn't really necessary to get. Of course, if they take me back to that red level, I have to find the correct keyhole. But as long as I don't need it, I'm just gonna go through normal levels, number two. So I have to get another code now, remember I already got a couple of them. I should actually change... Um, almost fucked it up. I should uh, save state number three. Remember we already have two passwords, number one and number two right there. That two is for fourth digit for the password in unlocking hell. Also watch out, in order to get to a hint, you must avoid envious keys. Oh, sorry, it's a different one. A Fanto is willing to help uh, get into a normally inaccessible pipe. Just walk on the Fanto to get in... In it, sorry, and... Wamu! I didn't fully understand what it was supposed to do, but... We will figure this out eventually. Close. This game is so full of puzzles, if it would have known, probably I would have avoided doing this game. I don't know. I just play Mario Hacks, I don't inform myself about... Oh my god, okay, I see. Oh, the Fanto is... What? Okay, this is... Supposed to be fucked up anyway. So yeah, the Fanto replaces the key and... The keys replace the Fantos. That was lucky, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I have to drop the Fanto often. But with this lightning bullshit going on, it's difficult to avoid. Unless there is a pattern for you to avoid the Phantos. I'm kind of getting some some type of pattern. Oh my god, what? Why did it jump off? I don't think you can kill enemies with the key. You cannot make them work like shells. So yeah, I have to drop it. See, you cannot kill enemies with that. So gotta drop it every... Every now and then. Now, I, I let the keys be a little bit too close to myself. Nah! I cannot drop it yet. Okay. Right on time. Oops. I hate blind jumps. I should let you know what's below somehow. This is all based on guessing. Most of these jumps are based on, on guessing, so... You have a high probability to jump off a pit and die, of course. Oh my god, I need the same one? Or I can use the bullet bills? Alright, that works. But I didn't see myself for a couple of seconds. Dude, this is almost impossible. I guess you need this Fanto. Alright, I, I put the Fanto in the worst possible position. I think they kill you anyway, even if you don't grab the thing. Or they just activate when you... Yeah, they kill you anyway, see? You yeah, have so many traps around, so it's almost impossible to... To go on without taking a hit so often, yeah. It's kind of 
weird because this is not really, or you can you can compare this ROM hack to the old Japanese ROM hacks that used to be very complicated, if not impossible, to go on or to go through without self-stating all the time. The thing is, uh, in this particular game, that's uh, that's relative because some levels are really easy, too easy, I would say. And some others are like the old Japanese uh, ROM hack. See, I I'm still stuck here. But even if I try to drop the Fanto beforehand, I had. Yeah, there must be a way of dropping it and getting it safely. But with so many enemies around, especially in these liney areas, which require a lot of patience and timing, in terms of the, the jumps at least. And also, apart from chainsaws, we deal with fucking bullet bills all the time. Don't tell me you need this as a platform? Are you serious? Oh my god, the keys are too close. I'm gonna leave it there. Yeah, you need that as a platform, it's not even an actual key. That's so weird. Anyway, I'm saving this one. And that's the end of the level without getting extra score. And I knew it! it takes you back to this area, so I am forced to get this secret and I think I'm also forced to get this other secret. Probably this other secret is the one I should take care of the most because it could take me directly to castle number 5. It's a possibility. I don't know, but I'm gonna check them out of screen I guess and select the most appropriate one in order to continue on throughout the game. But that's all for the time being, thanks a lot for watching, see you later.